Hey y'all, this is Tyler. I'm a handyman for the average man. Today I'll be showing you how to fix your toilet when the water keeps running and it's just keeps running uh, after you flush it. And so this is obviously a big deal because you're going to be spending more money on water than you, sh you need to be, than you should be. All right, so let's pretend I just use the John. Show you what's happening. So after you flush it, what has happened is this chain here is getting stuck underneath that flapper. So what's going to happen is the water is going to go all the way up to here. It should stop, but water is continuously. flowing outward underneath that flapper because this chain is caught underneath. So we, what we're going to do today is we're going to shorten that chain, take out some of the links in the chain so that when you flush it, all the mechanisms work like they should and nothing's causing a, a hole or a crack underneath the flapper for water to be escaping. All right guys, this is a couple minutes after I flushed it and I'm not making any progress. This chain is underneath the flapper, causing the water to not rise up all the way like it should. So this, the water is just constantly filling up. It's constantly running. I'm going through that much water, you know, all the time, unless I fix this chain. Or what we've been doing is just simply straightening the chain out. See, now you can see the chain is extended. Now the water's rising like it should like it should be. And it's going to stop here in a moment. All right. So that's what should be happening. But that's not what that's not what is happening. So what you need to do we're gonna flush it one more time. And then as soon as we flush it, we're gonna come down here and turn that clockwise to shut off the water to the toilet. So I'm gonna let it flush down so the water's out of my working area. All right, and again, you'll see the chain got under that flapper. So when you press that, the, when you flush it, it straightens out that line. So what we need to do today is we're going to remove some of that length of that chain. And to do so, I'm just going to use some needle nose pliers. In case I need them, I have these little baby needle nose pliers. So here we go. All right. So I have the camera propped up so you can see. First off, you'll notice there's this little clasp. You can just undo this. So now we gotta figure out how much chain do we need to take off? I'd say it's good to have a little bit of slack. So I'd say about there would be good. So when you pull it, it's gonna pull it up and there's not gonna be too much slack. So, that's resting position. All right, I'm gonna take about that much. So I'm actually gonna use these baby needle nose pliers. Actually, it's not a bad idea to use two needle nose pliers to give me the leverage I need. Okay. All 
I was able to take that off. And now, I'm just going to take this off as well. So I can get my clasp back. Got my clasp. And I'm going to reattach it to the other chain. It's all back in place. I'm going to go ahead and hook it back on this flusher rod. And I'm all in good position. Now I have a little bit of slack, but not, not a lot. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn the water back on, turning it counterclockwise. Looks good. All right, successful. So now the water is not gonna keep running and I'm gonna save money on that. Now I got the water turned on already. So now what will happen when we flush? Beautiful. The chain is in a good position. The water's I'm gonna fill up only up until this point, and we're not gonna be wasting as much water. So I appreciate you guys watching. I hope this helps. And you know, every toilet is different, but the hardware is pretty much the same. You know, you may have some variety. I know I have some older pieces here, but the mechanisms are the same. So again, I hope this uh, helped you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any other plumbing videos you'd like to see, or any other handyman videos you'd like to see, please let me know. Please comment below. I'm happy to cater uh, to what you guys want to see. And please subscribe. We have a lot of new content coming up. And remember, I am a handyman for the average man. Thank you guys. Take care.